Uh. Happy, happy, joy. Anyway, I'll get to that later. Um, gonna do the video on what I did with, uh, what was it called? Uh, Bone Collectors. I changed them to a graveyard. Uh, kind of a Mike Glover fan made character. No connection to either of those things. But at any rate, I was just like, fuck it, I'm a gay fan character. And I'll get to, uh, what did I call her stupid ass? Um, I think I'm gonna go with Sky Witch. Yeah, Sky Witch back there. I'll, I'll get to her later. But right now, I'm gonna do this video on, uh, uh graveyard here. So yeah, it, I took the head from the guy from, uh, how was that shit called? Fucking, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. I don't know why the figures were made kind of meh. But this one's fine. It looks pretty good now. The head works. I just basically put it on top of, uh, whatever his name is. What the fuck was his name? Uh, fucking, um, Bone Collector's body. Because I already had my fan made Bone Collector. I gave him a scar. The gun was like, yeah. Gave him this oozy looking thing. I know it has a different name, but I don't know. Tech 9, I think it is. And I hollowed out the uh, poster so he can use that. I gave his 1911 to somebody else. I'll get to him in a second. So therefore he can use that. Of course, we wouldn't be using these two at the same time. He would instead probably be using the third gun I gave him here. Uh, which is the gun the uh, McFarland character came with. Which is basically like, I think it's called a P-something 38. Anyway, it's a decent enough type of gun. Modified a lot because it's made for a sci fi thing now, but yeah, he has these. That's why I kept the spirit backpack because this could carry this easily enough. On there, I of course kept the machete that uh, ah, oh, fuck, that homeboy came with. So yeah, he's got the machete. That was originally made for a uh, bomb collector. It's hard to make it hold it in his hand, weirdly. I guess because I've been putting all these other different weapons in there. Ah, eh, fuck, it doesn't matter. Anyway. Right. So yeah, I just hollowed out the uh, holster so that he can now carry this gun. Um, there we are. Ah. Yeah, I had done that trick before when I gave, uh, ah, what's her name? Kill switch, another one of the uh, action force characters. I think I have no connection to action force. This is just you know fan shit that I'm making. I took the vest off. Kirk, I think his name is, and gave it to him and put American flag on it so we could tell he's one of the good guys. Yeah, I got the head on there, pretty good. I got the spirit backpack because it can carry the weapons. Because I made a shipwreck kit bash earlier. I think I showed that before, so I'll get into it. And that homeboy's body so he can be usable. I put mostly together. This is now what I did with uh ah, what is his name is Bone Collector's head. I put it on this body, and I'm gonna of course make this the second version of the Dark Colonel, which is based on the Black Major. I didn't stand him right. It's, he's an action force character. He can stand well enough on his own. I just didn't have him right. And he does have that backpack on there. But at any rate. The body is a... Uh, what's his fucking name? Johnny Silverhand. But the other guy that this head came from... I'm not going to try to pronounce it. I'm sorry. I'm just very bad at Japanese names. So I'm not going to try to. I'm not going to butcher another language. I'm butchering English well enough. So I put the jacket over the Johnny Silverhand body, because as you can see, it's yeah, still got Johnny's t-shirt underneath. But I removed the, uh, 
the bulletproof vest that Johnny wears. I kept the arms from the other guy. It looks really cool when I put his jacket on him along with the head of fucking uh yeah boy uh can't believe I said that anyway uh fuck bone collector I I like bone collector is like one of the best characters they've ever made for fucking action force yeah uh, Bobby and them did a great job I have no connection to that but I'm a big fan anyway I gave him a little symbol uh of the uh, Crimson Shadows. Well, from the original line of the Crimson Shadows back in there, part of something else. But anyway, <clears throat> and I put it on the jacket here. I didn't really think he needed to have any, like, any other symbolism on his person because, you know, he's just basically uh, that high up. He's like second. Well, he's actually he's third because I have Kurek in my little system. So in my little play through bullshit. Uh, he's like third. He's under uh, fucking Baron Ironblood, then Kirk, and then there's a, oh, yeah. But, uh, I don't know, I'll work on the ranking system. I'm trying to set up, I'm going to put Bone Collector in there because I have him with the whole force thing. Anyway, it's not important. But anyway, I gave him the gun that came with Bone Collector because I thought this pistol worked best for him. And I just put the uh, holster on the side so that he be able to carry that and that's the only weapon he needs as fuck the dark colonel anyway luckily the only thing i like is that when um, mcfarlane was making these particular characters he made a ball joint so i didn't have to fucking you know do all that shit i gotta do to change up mcfarlane figure shit regularly all right Fuck it, I'll take them that way later. But, yeah, this is basically a graveyard here. You already know all the articulation, because I didn't really do anything. All I did was uh, remove that vest thing that uh, Bone Collector comes with. So this is Bone Collector's body with Homeboy from Cyberpunk's head. I just cut off the uh, knot on the back of his head. I don't think he's actually a samurai in the Cyberpunk universe, so it's not an insult for him not to have that. It didn't work make him into a uh, graveyard so yeah here he is with the guns and weapons and everything else and since he's based on my lover I have no connection at all to the man but big enough fan so he now a tomb guard and I put him in my action force characters because I thought hey I'll make a fan thing yeah the only thing that I actually made was the gun itself, because that's another mold I did from, uh, yeah. I made a mold, I put the gun together, and the uh, bullets that's made out of plastic that I did. The rest of this is, of course, just action force bits with, uh, Cyberpunk 2077 McFarlane stuff, and the backpack from G.I. Joe. Alright, toodles.